as another mentioned, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven. Matthew. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of the day, which says, Hearing you may hear, and you shall understand, see, you shall receive. This field's part of the the ears Ah, yeah, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted. So I'm not going to put that verse because that comes later. Luke. Now the parables is okay. He just goes right into the explanation of the parables. So I got to finish with the words from Matthew. And in them is fulfilled. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. And shall not perceive. Actually, I'm thinking of putting the words from Mark and Luke into the quoting of the prophecy so that it stays with the style of Matthew because having it more simplified earlier saying what's happening and then quoting the prophecy in detail is fine you don't have to say it exactly the same way before and after so seeing they see not hearing they hear not and they don't understand and it's a fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, By hearing you shall hear and not understand, and seeing you shall see and not perceive. So you can go into more detail with the quote. And earlier the style of seeing they see not, hearing they hear not. You don't have to say hearing you shall hear and not understand. All those words are later. Hmm. is fine how it is. Plus, I would have to choose more words from one gospel than another instead of combining more. Yeah, I'll just leave it. So, Matthew continues on for this people's part is waxed, gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Now, the quote is the same from Matthew and Mark, lest at any time, Matthew, lest at any time, they should see. Last any time, they should be converted. Okay, so it skips right to be converted in Mark. Last any time, they should see with their eyes, hear and understand with their hearts, and should be converted. Last any time, they should. I'll have this first should be only from Matthew. So I'll have, should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart. All that for Matthew. And then, and should be converted. That should will be Mark. And then be converted from both. So now both, lest at any time, they, I'll have this should be both. Matthew. See with their eyes, and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and now oh yeah and this is another should dear Matthew and then be converted that should be both and I should heal them mark Converted, and their sins should be forgiven. That's different. So which should come first? And their sins should be forgiven. And I should heal them? I think I should put both. I could have, and I should heal them. And their sins should be forgiven. I think I can cut out one of these shoulds because it's already in here twice. Now it'll be three times. So I can have it, and I should heal them and their sins be forgiven them. You know, I don't think the second them has to be there either. 
and I should heal them and their sins be forgiven because I heal them their sins are forgiven well and their sins be forgiven them. would it be a problem if I say and I should heal them and their sins be forgiven would that be a problem I don't think so and I should heal them and their sins be forgiven the other option is how it is and I should heal them and their sins be forgiven them it's already clear that their sins are being forgiven you don't need to say their sins are forgiven them I don't think it needs to be there twice so that's fine should I switch it then and say and their sins should be forgiven them and I heal them well no then I can just put and I heal you can have and their sins be forgiven without the extra them but you can't have and I heal without the them so I'll put and I heal them first and I should heal them and their sins be forgiven so should and them is both I understand why Matthew wrote it the way he did it makes so much sense to have it summarized seeing they see not then later to explain why I'm really tempted to just to choose the way Matthew explains it over all those extra words from Mark and Luke because seeing they may see and not perceive and hearing they may hear and not understand and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah which says by hearing you shall hear and shall not understand and seeing you shall see and shall not perceive for this people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their hearts and should be converted and I should heal them and their sins be forgiven